Today, I'm gonna show you how I make fermented garlic and honey. This is gonna be good. For the ingredients, I'm working with four to five heads of fresh garlic. I'm gonna work with about eight to 10 ounces of honey. This is a raw, unfiltered honey. I'm also going to be adding a half teaspoon of Celtic sea salt. Here I have, this is a 12 ounce mason jar with a clean lid, clean jar, clean lid, and that's it, let's get started. So I'm gonna start with the tedious work of separating the cloves of garlic. You give it a press and just start to peel and separate them. And I know there are a lot of methods to separating the garlic skin from the clove. You use the one you prefer, I'm just gonna give it a mash, and it peels easily. And you can ask somebody to help you with this, by the way. So here, I'm just gonna continue the process, and I like to give all my cloves a mash. I'm also going to remove the ends of the garlic. It's kind of like that fibrous end, I'll just cut that off. And here, I've already peeled my garlic, and this is ready to go into the jar. So here in my mason jar, I'm just going to add half of the garlic. By the way, I like to remind everyone on my shorter videos that I do not have a Facebook and I will not be posting this video there. So here I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of my Celtic sea salt. Just kind of shake it on half of the garlic. Now add the rest of the garlic. And I'll just repeat the process. Another quarter teaspoon of the Celtic sea salt goes on top. Now I'm just going to pour over the honey. Around eight to 10 ounces of honey works for this amount. So some of you might want to know some of the health benefits of fermented garlic in honey. I like to add Celtic salt for an extra healthy benefit. This combination of ingredients provides antibacterial, antiviral, and immune boosting properties. This also helps symptoms of cold and flu. I have seasonal allergies. I like to say this helps the symptoms of post-nasal drip or a sore throat. The honey also works somewhat of a cough syrup in place of that. So this is actually my third jar making this and between my husband, my sons, and myself, we go through this in a couple of weeks. One clove of garlic with a teaspoon of the honey is recommended daily. Okay, just gonna add the honey to top it off and you can ferment this for several days. I'm going to cover with a lid and I'm gonna close it tightly and just set it on your countertop. As it ferments and as it sets, the honey gets a lot more liquidy. It gets kind of thinner in consistency, so this is day one. By day two, you'll want to remove the lid just to release the air and the bubbles that are going to form during this process, give it a shake, and then you'll want to close it up. And I'm sort of reenacting uh, the time lapse of the days. This is still day one, but I just want to show you. I, I wanted to show you how I make it today. Okay, so close it again, and this time flip it over. That just helps to move things as it's fermenting. And by day three, repeat the process. Open it, remove the air. And by the third day, I like to place it in my refrigerator. If you want it to continue to ferment longer, go for it. And I keep this in my fridge until it's done, maybe a month. Okay, so this is what it looks like again on day one. I haven't let it ferment, but I do wanna try this because I like to have one each day. So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.